Welcome to the Art and Science of Undermining Cancer with the world-renowned oncologist, Dr. Francisco Contreras, and your host, Daniel Kennedy. How do you use nutrients to defend against or to defeat naturally occurring substances in the body that promote cancer, things like insulin-like growth factor? Yes. There are um, many therapies that are now being developed to impede the production of certain proteins that will benefit the tumor or that will neutralize the, the, the protein once it's already produced. Um, and these are FDA approved uh, uh, drugs, very expensive. But we know for a fact, and there are many studies published that um, have found that there are natural substances that actually do the same thing. So, for instance, one of the uh, early drugs, uh, targeted drugs, uh, uh, were developed to stop the production of new vessels that will feed the tumor. It's called anti-angiogenetic factors. And, and so Avastin was the first one that was produced for this. And it cost maybe seven to $8,000 a month. But we know for a fact that shark cartilage does exactly the same thing, pennies on the dollar. Or resveratrol can also have that effect. And curcumin is a lot more powerful than the other two combined. So we have found many natural elements that target proteins. Another way of targeting, for instance, insulin uh, is by not consuming sugar. So if we stop the consumption of sugar, our body will not produce so much insulin. Why is that important? Because insulin feeds cancer growth. Um, sugar itself it, it, it will be used by the tumor very effectively for, for its growth. So there are many ways to uh, uh, attack the, the proteins that have been already produced or to impede the production of those proteins with nutrients. And that's why our nutritional program uh, through diet and through supplementation is so important for the patients. I was gonna say the nutrition program is the heart of our program, but maybe it should be the stomach of the program. <laughs> that sounds good.